Welcome to Bears in XL. Today is Tuesday, August the 21st, and this is the market overview. I uh, wasn't able to do a video last night because I was uh, on the road, but that was okay. Last night uh, there wasn't too much going on, but not the case with tonight. Totally awesome. Um, Dow down 68 points. Starting off with the Dow like every night. And ending with a down tick. Woohoo! Finally. Uh, we had Hanging Man last night, but uh, no video. Actually, I didn't even really look at the charts last night because uh, it was late. But, uh, anyways, down tick today. Down tick has uh, not been resolved. Not too far off. Down here at 13,170. Which is only 30 points uh, to the downside. Uh, of course, of course, it's only a uh, down tick move. If we do get a uh, a bar retest, we're looking at the uh, 1300 area or uh, just above. Beyond that, what's the likelihood of that happening? As everyone knows, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for uh, down ticks, waiting for the market to uh, roll over from a very extended. Uh, position. And we have down on the uh, CCI, down on the Stochastics, down on the RSI, down on the MACD, looking for a bearish cross, down on the MACD histogram. Fortin day RSI moving average is still pointing up, unfortunately. But it's very, very high. Get that to roll over and we will have a really nice down movement. So Yes, this is a little bit early. Yes, it could only be 30 more points to the downside, and then it just springboards back up. But this is a nice start. This is the nicest start we've had in uh, in a few weeks. So uh, I guess enjoy it while it lasts, right? Well, we'll see. 60-minute time frame. Are we finished? Has it? Uh, is it overdone? Well, we can see the uh, extremely nice movement. I mean, it, it was bumped up today really nice at the open and just fell the whole day. Extremely pretty, very nice. And that 14 day RSA moving average, look at that. All kinds of room to move to the downside. Doesn't mean that we can't have a uh, reset of the stochastics uh, before it completes its move. But uh, yeah, the stochastics can stay low. We do have a bit of a blip in the uh, heat map, which is fine. I mean, we had a good move down today. Uh, MACD down, MACD histogram down, CCI going sideways at the end of the day, uh, stochastics low, maybe they'll turn, maybe not, CCI pointing up at the end of the day. Um, very early in the move, very early, but uh, there is plenty more room to move in the 60 minute before we desperately need a uh, pop back up. There should be a lot of people with optimism and want to pop it back up anyway. But uh, we have more to look at before really taking a uh, consideration of that. I need to get rid of this. And moving on to SPX. And what do we have here? We have a down tick. Finally. All through this, we kept saying, we need a down tick, need a down tick, need a down tick. We got it on the Dow once. Never got it on SPX. Today, got it on SPX. Awesome. Gives us a target down here at about 1403. 10 points to the downside. Uh, essentially, two days like today. And uh, we'll have a bubble corrective move complete. And if by chance... We're going down for a bar retest. We're looking at the uh, 1385 area, although I'm eyeing uh, 1390 is what I'm uh, looking for. And when it gets there, assuming it gets there, it'll be time to uh, reevaluate and see what it looks like. Um, of course, we're far away from the upper price consensus level, way down here, just shy of uh, 1370. That would be incredible. But uh, we do have a bar to contend with, so... Um, Bar retest, 10 points to the downside from here, and beyond that, 1390, um, 25 roundabout points from where we are right now. That would be nice. Beyond that, secondary is identical to the Dow, nothing really to add. 
to that. And actually, CCI did a little bit better than the Dow. So, 60 minute time frame, no difference than the Dow, no need to rehash, but yeah, a downtick, finally. That is uh, so encouraging. Uh, and we shall see where it goes from here. Moving on to the VIX, very nice. We, um, <laughs> this one has just been a ground to powder over the last uh, week. And today we got, oh, today was the second day in an uptick, no video last night. And the uptick target was met today. Uh-oh. We need to see what it wants to do from this point. Hopefully it will be more to the upside. Certainly in a bottoming area in the heat map. 14 day RSI moving average still moving down, but stochastics moving up, CCI moving up, RSI moving up, histogram moving up, MACD moving up, looking for a bullish cross. Very nice setup, very nice looking on the daily. So, um, and if we're looking for further positive and a bar retest, it's very close to the lower price consensus level for this month, which is just shy of 16.5. I think that is uh, more than a, uh, obtainable. Very nice. Coincides with the uh, top of this bar right here, which should be resistance. So, bar retest, lower price consensus level, retest of the top of this big red candle. That all makes sense to me. We do need to have a positive movement tomorrow. That would be very nice. TNA. You know, this thing's been lagging all through this move up. And it's had a couple good days, you know, this day where it made a new high, uh, a couple positive things. But by and large, nothing like the Dow, nothing like SPX. Today on the initial surge, it was able to uh, conquer this previous high, which is not the major highs we've talked about in previous videos. Nowhere near those things. And... Uh, very encouraging. We do not have a down tick yet. We do have excessive separation. We know that there is a bubble here. We are in a topping area in the heat map. And we have the uh, stochastics rolling over. CCI is still pointing up. Fortune Dara and moving average still pointing up. Uh, MACD barely ticking up. MACD histogram ticking down. It is better than the Dow. It is better than SPX. We don't have a down tick. But look, we're so close to the upper price consensus level. And we pierced it today. If that is broken, it would be completely logical to go down for a major price consensus level retest, which re which coincides with a bar retest, which is just coming out of a flat line, which is just shy or around about the $53 area. Very nice. And um, yeah, I think it has a good shot of that. We need a little bit more development, but uh, yes, this is... Uh, very nice setup if you look at it from uh, lower highs and really if you're just looking at real bodies today would also be a lower high but uh, yeah that candle that uh, shadow does make a little bit of a mess of it anyways it's early this is one day Shouldn't get too excited over one day, but it does hold some promise. Moving on to UUP. Now this one was just a... Uh, ha, ha, ha. This one was just uh, one of those things that... Uh, I looked at it this morning and I was like, holy cow. Big trouble. Because its gap down was extreme. And in the uh, daily running thread we noted market should be way higher with this kind of a move down I mean just massively extreme uh, doji outside way outside the uh, lower Bollinger Band completely outside the lower Bollinger Band this one is screaming for a, a move up to uh, get back inside we now have this gap to fill um, yeah indicator wise doesn't look that pretty. We have a uh, deep blip in the heat map uh, suggesting a bottoming area. I don't think that it'll be prolonged uh, like some of them. I mean, this is essentially just barely red to all of a sudden deep, deep red. And uh, normally those are pretty darn quick. Um, 
I certainly hope that that's the case at this time. Certainly would be good for the bears. But we do have everything ticking down. And with a move like that, why not? So, uh, is it overdone? 60-minute uh, time frame should tell the story. We have the uh, histogram moving on up. We have the RSI moving on up. Stochastics moving up. CCI moving up. 14 day RSI moving average, very low, ready to turn. And uh, MACD barely ticking down, also ready to turn. 60-minute time frame looks pretty darn good to me. Um, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. And tomorrow is the FOMC minutes. Old Benny boy. I don't think that he's going to have uh, anything good to put out for the market. So, uh, further downside makes sense to me. And FXE. And that crazy move. We've been talking about having uh, the problems with the long term moving average bar. That is held true this entire time. And today, it just uh, gaps above it like this. Very unusual. Um, certainly unhealthy. You need to fight through this uh, to collapse it, to beat it. And instead it just jumped above it, ending with a shooting star um, outside the upper Bollinger Band. Still a fully formed, strong, bearish bar that should suck it back into itself. All kinds of problems with this. Um, blip on the heat map. Indicator-wise, everything ticking up, but uh, position, movement, no, it doesn't, uh, d just doesn't work for me. Um, and 60 minutes, why not? Look how extreme that is. Look at the excessive separation. Uh, it has wobble, massive bubble here, absolutely. Topping area in the heat map, everything trying to roll over or rolling over. Um, just needs one little bit of news and uh, it'll fill this gap in a heartbeat and uh, we're to the point now where UUP's drop, an extreme drop was not able to save the market so uh, in my opinion now where it has ignored most of the moves down in uh, FXE in uh, you know bad relation to the market I think now it's reached the point where yes that's really going to matter when this fills it's going to put the hurt on the market. Just my opinion. Maybe I'm totally wrong going to the moon or something. Uh, going to chase that uh, that probe on Mars. But uh, that's what I think. That's what I think. CompQ the NASDAQ. Ooh. Very interesting, isn't it? We have... A very slight, slight downtick on CompQ gives us a target just shy of 1330. Very nice. It's a spinning top. It is bearish engulfing the real body of Monday's candle. Bearish. We're definitely in a topping area. We have uh, the histogram ticking down, stochastics ticking down. And the CCI 14 d RSI moving average and the RSI still trying to hold out high, but um, we now have a down tick. I like it. What an extreme move. Look how crazy that is. Is this one ready to pull back? It uh, definitely has great odds that, uh, that it does. Four days to complete. We shall see. And Apple said last no we didn't we had no video last night the night before last we we're just outside the upper Bollinger Band said that it would should come back inside and it did not it uh, it didn't matter of fact it uh, wanted to make things just more crazy closing way outside of the Bollinger, Bollinger Band and gapping up huge today all-time new highs and falling 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 the whole day and getting just shy or just below the uh, middle portion of uh, this candle closing back inside the upper Bollinger Band. We do not have a downtick. We do have excessive separation and we do have a topping area in the heat map that's getting pretty darn extreme. Stochastics moving down, CCI moving down, RSI moving down, 
MACD histogram moving down, MACD up, 14 day RSI moving average up. This one looks really, really extended. Um, no downtick though. If we're to get one tomorrow though, that will give us a target just shy of 640. So at least we know that into the future. And GE, trying to get a better read on the Dow. Oh, we had a downtick last night. Oh, and it was resolved intraday. Uh, would have been resolved today as well had it not. Spinning top. Everything ticking down. I think that, uh, let's see here. Yep, we would have caught this uh, bearish cross on the video from Friday. And all that's waiting is the 14 day RSI moving average to turn. Very nice. This doesn't look good at all. Um, down to target met yesterday, negative day today. That would suggest more negative ahead. And what's bad for GE is bad for the Dow. Very nice. And JP Morgan, most important bank. Having problems with the 200 day moving average this entire time. We're waiting for a good signal above. Is this a good signal above? No. Giant uh, topping tail closing outside the upper Bollinger Band. Body isn't bigger than the tail, so. Um, Hey, could this be a shooting star? Yeah, it could be. So do I trust this as being a good signal that uh, JP Morgan's just going to fly off to the moon? Nope. I don't. And doing some gap filling back here. Yeah, maybe it could go up here and uh, try to fill it completely. But uh, I don't know. I just wouldn't trust it at the moment. Everything ticking up, but... Uh, blip in the heat map I don't know personally I just don't trust it it just doesn't look like a uh, strong stock to me and XLF maybe this can give us a better clue on JP Morgan and notice it looks uh, very different it doesn't look uh, doesn't look as nice uh, red inverse hammer getting rollover in the stochastics everything else ticking up but uh, overall looks pretty darn weak to me not uh, not good positioning not a good candle but we don't have a down tick maybe uh, maybe tomorrow um, trying not to be biased on this at all does it come into so oh Oh, look at that. It filled a gap today, too. Very interesting. So this gap is filled. There's none left to uh, fill above. None left, well, in this area to fill below. Um, hmm. That is interesting. And going on to USO Oil. Hmm. Getting close to that 200 day moving average once again. Fighting with the upper Bollinger Band. And look, it's starting to crimp. That's interesting too. Red on the day. Yeah, above yesterday though. Beyond that, looks pretty darn toppy. Histogram clicking down. MACD barely up. Down on the RSI. Down on the stochastics. Up on the CCI. Barely up on the 14 day RSI moving average looks pretty uh, pretty cooked but we don't have a down tick maybe tomorrow and anything else GLD eh, I just haven't been overly impressed by this um, but it did get out of its range but look at its positioning way outside the upper Bollinger Band doji uh, blip in the heat map yeah everything else is ticking up but candle and placement right at a previous high 
could almost be considered a double top. I'm trying to see if it does match up just right. And it does. Possible double top in a bad position with a bad candle. Oh, I don't really care for it. Um, maybe. <laughs> we need tomorrow. Bummer. And SLV. Ooh. Possible Gravestone Doji outside the upper Bollinger Band entirely. Massive blip in the heat map. Everything else is ticking up, but placement doesn't look good to me. Hasn't even reached this uh, previous high back here, but at least it's breaking out of this whole little box area. So that's nice. If it can come back and uh, halt and uh, work off the heat map some, good. But, um, hmm. And is there anything else? I see that the futures are down. Um, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Yeah. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.